The Turkish defense industry has recently made significant strides. They have successfully developed manned fighters, stealth UAVs, medium attack helicopter, and now heavy attack helicopter. On April 28th, the Turkish aerospace industries successfully conducted a test flight of the T929 heavy attack helicopter. Newly released images have revealed the first look at the country's new almost complete prototype T929. The T929, also known as the ATAC-2, is a twin-engine heavy attack helicopter designed for attack, electronic warfare, and reconnaissance missions in all weather environments in both day and night conditions. The helicopter will incorporate some subsystems and components developed under T129 and the T625 Gobei helicopter projects. The T929 helicopter features tandem seats, will be fitted with a nose-mounted forward-looking infrared turret that includes target tracking functionality. The helicopter will also feature electronic warfare systems such as infrared missile warning sensors and a tail-mounted directed infrared counter-missile system to jam heat-seeking missiles. The T929 will be equipped with a 30mm cannon and will be able to carry around 1,500 kg of armament on six underwing pylons. The T929 Attack 2 will be powered by two 2,500 horsepower turboshaft engines. Turkish aerospace industries have signed an agreement with Ukraine's motorship to supply 14 TV3-117 engines. An initial batch of 14 of these engines has been ordered, although the pressure of the war in Ukraine reportedly led to a four-month delay in the delivery to Turkey of the first two. This had originally been scheduled for a delivery last September, but arrived at the end of January. In theory, the T929 will have a maximum takeoff weight of 10 tons, a top speed of up to 318 km per hour, and a surface steering of 6096 meters. Overall, the T929 is a larger and more capable machine than the T129, comparable to the American AH-64 Apache and the Russian KA-52. A Unix will be sourced and integrated locally, now a common feature of Turkey's defense aerospace efforts. In terms of weapons, most, if not all, are also expected to come from Turkey's manufacturers. This includes the UMTAS and LUMTAS long-range anti-tank missiles and the series 70mm guard rocket. The 30mm main gun also the T-30H from the Aselsen company. It is expected that in addition to production for domestic demand, T929 will also be promoted for export. <laughs>